many people there or what? Yeah, we got a nice gathering, man. It's, it's real family friendly, you know. Right now, you know, we're still oh, having the workshops. Oh, it's beautiful. It's happened to be rainy oh, right my. now. And just by coincidence, I was doing it um, under an interview, uh, and they were asking, she was asking me about you, how I met you, and he, then you happen to you happen to call. Hello. <laughs> I'm a videographer. Too much TV. Tamisha Thomas. This is the first time I've heard your story. Well, how you doing? I'm doing wonderful. How are you? I I've heard about the wonderful work that you've done. Well, thank you. Um, we were. Um, I was just sitting here um, interviewing, and um, we were. Can you tell me about some of the work that you were doing before you were falsely uh, in, in, incarcerated? Well, uh, the last thing that uh, I was involved in was in just trying to build a community. We had established a national community, and we were doing certain things in the Islamic vein, like we had made the pilgrimage. As a community, we went uh, to on oh, two occasions. We made uh, as a community. We organized and took people on hodge on the pilgrimage. But we just try to maintain the community effort as a national effort in dealing with the different imams and community. And so this is the last thing uh, that I was involved in before I was arrested. Now you said the word. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You said the word community many times. Tell me, what does a good community consist of? What does it consist of? Well, Omar Ibn Khattab, one of the companions of the Prophet, peace and blessed be upon him, was reported to have said, there is no Islam without community, and there is no community without leadership, and there is no leadership without allegiance. So it is to organize oneself around the concept of the principles of Islam. And the Prophet, peace and blessed be upon him, Allah Sallallahu told him, said that all, all come from two, you know, Adam and his mate. And he, Allah divided you into nations and tribes that you might eat. So I heard leadership, I heard allegiance, um, uh, as two factors, any more that would um, make and a righteousness. And righteousness. Good behavior. I'm sorry? And you said righteousness, so leadership, Alliance, right. righteousness. Yeah, he said in terms of there's no community, there's no Islam without community. There's no community without leadership. There's no leadership without allegiance, a commitment, in other words, in your, to the, what the, the principles are. Okay, wow. So that's amazing. You're talking to, um, again, my name is Samisha Thomas. I've, I've, I've started an organization called the TNT Youth Community Foundation. And what I'm finding is the hardest thing is to, to, to be able to bring the community together. Can you tell me what are some of the things that, um, that you found um, um, as far as community that, that, that may need to be strengthened, that may have, uh, if it was stronger, you would be on the outside with us versus us having this conversation with you uh, behind uh, prison walls. What went wrong with the community, you think? But again, the, the key to anything, like the success of anything, it incorporates the remembrance of the Creator. Because man can only be successful in, in the sense of how well he remembers what the community, what the Creator has commanded upon him. How, again, in the process of righteousness, he was asked, what is righteousness? He said, good behavior. But good behavior has a standard. In other words, to observe your rights as well as the rights that are held against you. So to build any community, to build any successful organization, it has to incorporate remembrance of the rules. And he who makes the rules, rules. The Creator made rules. And unless we follow and observe those rules, we can't be successful. Then men begin to come in and impose their rules in their own self-interest upon you if you don't follow the rules of the Creator. Okay, so anybody else got any more questions? We all stand around. 
we've talked about community so far with them. He said that um, uh, leadership, alle uh, 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 allegiance, um, um, remembering the creator. What was the fourth one? Well, that brings us about the good behavior. The good behavior. There's no successful organization. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum yeah, it's about to cut off, man. They only give us five minutes now. Okay. All right, Imam. But the key, the key is the fear of the Creator. Uh, the concept that each, every prophet who was sent to mankind, he was instructed to teach there is no God but God. I mean. So the rules are made already, and the rules are made by the Creator. And the golden rule is that he who rules, he who makes the rules, rules. So the Creator makes the rules for humanity. Our humanity is to be governed. And a part, again, of that is good behavior. But how do you teach good behavior? And what is good behavior? So the Creator has not left man without guidance, but indeed has given man guidance. And how well you follow the guidance determines how successful you will be in anything that you do. Amen. This call is from a federal prison. This call is from a federal prison.